Hello everyone. Um, so in my last video, I talked about how to run moderation using the new uh, process macro mo module in JASP. Uh, but in the previous example, I specifically made use of a moderator that is dichotomous. Uh, so for today, we'll run uh, the same model, slightly different set of variables, uh, but specifically this time, will be using a moderator that is continuous rather than dichotomous. So this is the model that we will be testing. Um, again, I'm doing this tutorial under the assumption that you understand what moderation is. Uh, if you are not familiar with moderation, then I suggest that you watch the uh, previous video. So this is the model that we are going to test. So we have reviewing. A hypothesize to be to predict exam performance uh, positively so the more that we review the better our academic performance is but is that always the case or does anxiety have an influence in this relationship is the relationship between reviewing and exam performance dependent on the level of one's test anxiety and assuming that all of these variables are continuous, meaning to say that uh, that these variables are measured uh, and represented by scores, now how do we run this in JASP? So this is our data set. So to run this, uh, as usual, um, we always begin by examining the basic relationship of the variables. So let's run a quick correlation test and let's enter our variables so exam uh, and then reviewing and then anxiety so specifically we are testing the Pearson R correlation let me flag the significant correlations and let me remove the p-values by doing so and let's check our results so here we can see that reviewing positively predicts exam performance anxiety negatively predicts exam performance and anxiety in reviewing also has a strong negative relationship okay so let's now check the moderation model so to do that uh, we select process module if this is not available go to the plus sign to the right side and make sure that it is selected here so if it is checked then you should see that in the options on top of your JASP interface so let's click on Hayes process okay so let's enter what our dependent variable is our dependent variable is um, exam Okay. what are our continuous predictors we have two so we have reviewing which is our IV and then our moderator uh, which is also regarded as a predictor in essence and it's continuous so we transfer it here so we don't have any categorical predictor so we'll leave, we will leave, leave this blank so again there are two ways by which we can do this one is by selecting the model number so if we choose model number then we can enter the Hayes model number here uh, if you are not familiar what the model number refers to it basically refers to different types of models so model one is your basic moderation model two is moderation uh, wherein there are multiple parallel moderators model three is a uh, uh, moderated moderation model 4 is your basic mediation model 5 is a mediation with a moderator and the action of the moderator is in on the direct effect and so forth and so on there are exactly how many models let's check there are about 76 models and this is the most complicated model model number 76 which is mediation there are 
two moderators and the moderators have or there are multiple moderators and the moderators have actions on all of the paths okay now because we have a simple model we should be choosing model one um, however as i have discussed in my pre previous video a better way of doing this is by manually entering the variables that you need to uh, analyze um, why because if this is our model what we want to first check is to see whether reviewing and anxiety um, have direct effects on exam performance uh, and we cannot test this no, if, if we proceed using the preset model options no so what I, what I suggest is we do this manually uh, we do this in kind of a uh, series and so first we will test this model and then after we after checking for this model we will test the moderation model so let's first test the direct effects so what would the direct effects be we can specify it here in our model builder there is a drop box here from let's first test uh, reviewing and how it influences our outcome variable which is exam so from reviewing to exam and then let's specify what process type so this is a direct effect and if we take a look at the model so we can now see that this is the first part of our model you know, we are testing uh, whether review predicts exam performance and if we check on the results we already have path coefficients available here you know. but let's add another variable because this is not the first model that we will test so uh, in our model builder we click the plus button and we add another dimension to the model and um, as we do so you will notice that the the, the graph that you saw a while ago will uh, be modified so what do we add we add the direct effect of anxiety to exam so from anxiety to exam i'm also interested in the direct effect and then i will select for my uh if you go to options i want to see the standardized regression coefficients so this is now the initial model so again we are examining two simultaneous direct effects reviewing to exam performance and then test anxiety to exam performance and when we report for this the results that we want to use in reporting for this part of the model would have to be these results what we have here is estimate so this refers to the standardized regression estimates uh, and this is the associated p-value with regard to this standardized regression coefficients now so what we're seeing here is that reviewing uh, doesn't seem to have an impact on exam performance now with a p-value of uh, 0.174 now but anxiety seems to have a negative impact on exam performance so that is interesting that it appears that the results suggest that controlling for anxiety reviewing does it does not have an impact on exam performance all right so we have two other tables here the mediation effect and the total effect i suggest that you ignore this part uh, what is useful for us for the meantime is this and you'll notice that it basically contains the same the same thing but if you want to report now the moderation then let's continue our analysis so from the model builder it's either you copy this table and transfer it to uh, so that you have a copy of these results or if you want you can start a new analysis but one option is for me to remove 
uh, the analysis that I have done. No? But let's try just adding. Uh, so let's now test for the moderation model. Let's examine the model again. So what I want to test is from reviewing to exam performance and then there is a conditional process uh, which is anxiety being a moderator. So let's try to do that here. So from reviewing to exam performance, so the influence of review to exam performance, but this time, instead of saying direct, we say moderator. So that's the process type. And the process variable, the moderator, is anxiety. And this setup basically tests your moderation. Uh, now, this is the first time that I'm doing this. So let's see what the result is going to be. Okay. But I can see here that the model is... Uh, the correct model so reviewing uh, and its influence on exam performance with anxiety as a moderator and as for the results there you go so these are the results but take note the thing that is useful here is the result that tests the moderation effect so this row here is what is useful for this particular output. So this row. Um, what about these results? We cannot report these results because these results are under the assumption that the interaction term is controlled for. So if you wanna, res if you wanna report the impact of review on exam and anxiety, on exam, it's better to report the findings that we showed earlier no, rather than this. What you'll get from this is the result of the moderation. Uh, and if you look at the p-value, um, there is no significant moderation. So the impact of reviewing on exam uh, is the same no, regardless of anxiety. Um, and what is that exactly? What exactly is the impact of reviewing on exam? So a while ago, the reviewing does not predict exam when anxiety is controlled for. However, I think reviewing influences exam performance when anxiety is not controlled for. However you want to report that depends on you. No? But let's double check if that is true. Does reviewing influence exam performance if we do not control for anxiety so let me remove from the model builder the moderation effect and the direct effect of anxiety on exam reducing the model simply to reviews influence on exam performance all right so if it's just if, if in your model you only have reviewing as a predictor of examination of examination performance we can see that it does positively predict exam performance but it's only when anxiety is controlled for that it no longer seems to have an effect um, so how do you want to report that it depends on you so maybe you can report this in stages first you can report the influence of reviewing on examination and you see that there's a positive that reviewing is a positive predictor of examination performance however when you add anxiety in the model this positive uh, impact seems to disappear and uh, when you test for moderation there is no significant moderation detected so let's let me just put back our previous analysis so in our current result we don't have a successful moderation but what if we do now what if what if this p value is significant what should we 
examine first or how do we proceed the next thing that we will examine is the conditional effect no? or the simple slopes uh, so again I'm, I'm saying that you should do this no? if the result if the moderation result is significant if it's significant that means to say that the influence of examination of reviewing on examination differs across different levels of anxiety and you can see that here so this is our simple slopes analysis so you will notice that the impact of reviewing on exam performance was tested on three levels and what are those levels in different levels of anxiety low level of anxiety um, average level of anxiety and high level of anxiety all right now the interesting result here is that although our model suggests that there is no significant moderation, but if we look at the p-value, there seems to be some uh, variation in the p-value. So particularly if our, if our alpha is 0 0.05, this seems to suggest that reviewing does not positively predict exam at low levels of anxiety, but it seems that it does you know, at higher levels of anxiety now, both of these p-values are about 0.5 but then again i'm not sure if we should interpret this because as what i've said we don't have a significant moderation and i'm only illustrating this or i'm only showing this under the assumption or if you no know, uh, our p-value is less than 0 0.05 here you know, such that there is a significant moderation one last thing, if you want to test the same model, but you want to control for another variable, so let's say, for example, I want to test exactly the same model, but I also want to test this model controlling for gender, you can also do that with your model builder. By simply going to your model builder, adding another layer, and adding this bit in uh, our analysis, we can test the model controlling for biological sex. Uh, but before that, let's first enter. So let me just convert this into scale. So let's first enter gender uh, code. So this is this variable. Okay, so one is male, zero is female, and let's enter that as part of our continuous predictors. Although it's not really continuous, but since I assign numerical values. Or if you like, uh, yeah, I guess you can also put it here, no? It, it doesn't matter, I think. But anyway, so let's do that. So gender, code, or biological sex, two, what does our model suggest to exam performance to exam and this time that is a direct effect so we choose direct and you will notice that our model has now further expanded and there now is our uh, moderation model with a, con uh, a control variable uh, and what does the result suggest uh, pretty much the same thing. No, we still do not have a significant, uh, a significant moderation. Okay. All right. So that's it. Uh, I hope that you learned something. Uh, if there are parts, uh, if you have any questions, now please type your clarifications and questions in the comment section. So next time I will discuss how to use. Uh, the process macro module uh, in examining mediation model.